I think we should talk about these fiberglass stems because you spent a lot of time working on these as well, haven't you? I think that they're the perfect balance for the floats in achieving the presentation that you want. Um, but obviously you need to marry the right diameter to that body and that size. We've gone for fiberglass because it's a really durable, really strong material, yeah. but it's also got that little bit of weight about it. Yeah. So you didn't want to put stainless steel in, which is even heavier, because yeah. if you bend one, it's yeah. bent, you know, yeah. like you can't straighten it. So at least for fiberglass, it's got the flexibility, it's strong, it's flexible, but it's got a little bit of weight for that extra stability. Yeah. So on the bigger ones, like you say, that's a one mil stem versus a 0.8 stem, but you've got a bigger, more hollow tip. Yeah. So even though there's air in it, you've got a thicker bit of plastic anyway. Yeah. And obviously the hollow tips, a big advantage of that is the fact that the light can shine through them and they're much more visible uh, over perhaps a, a solid tip. And also the fact that you can really read the bites uh, with the different diameter hollow tips is a massive advantage. Obviously, commercial fishing isn't my sort of, I, I do fish commercials, but it's not my area. But I can see with the level of detail that you've incorporated into these, that it's really going to help uh, cover most of the situations. 